Radiation leak feared at new plant. People are urged to stay indoors. The more I read, the more it sounds like the explosion at Reactor 4 was in fact the same event as the fire at the reactor. There was a hydrogen explosion and fire arising from spent fuel rods. Apparently also, this is Reactor 4 at Fukushima Daiichi. The SIPR report claims that Reactor 4 at Fukushima Daini has been stabilized. For what it's worth also, while we rightfully stayed away from the microceivers in the latest report, it is worth pointing out that the media is wildly confusing on this particular topic. So again, all we really know is that radiation levels are said to be rising to hazardous levels, especially at the plant, and that higher than normal levels are being detected elsewhere. On 3-15-2011, Matt Gertkin wrote, This helps clear up some questions, but raises many more. Namely explains that the fire at Fukushima Daiichi Reactor 4 was likely a fire of spent fuel. Meltdown caused new plant explosion. Safety body. This is not the first time the NISA and the cabinet have disagreed. We have a contest between the bureaucracy and the DPJ going on about handling this crisis. We might want to rethink our apology given that we know on March 13th of 2011 the meltdown caused new plant explosion. Tokyo, the nuclear industrial safety agency NISA said Saturday afternoon the explosion at Fukushima number one nuclear plant could only be caused by a meltdown of the reactor core. The same day Tokyo Electric Power, which runs the plant, began to flood the damaged reactor with seawater to pull it down. Resorting to this measure would rust the reactor and force the utility to scrap it. CCM and iodine byproducts of nuclear fission were detected around the plant, which would make the explosion the worst accident in the history of nuclear power generation. Radiation leak feared a new plant. People are urged to stay indoors. This helps clear up some questions, but raises many more. Namely, it explains that the fire at Fukushima Daiichi Reactor 4 was likely a fire of spent fuel. This is something some of our sources have warned about. The spent fuel heated up and caused the explosion. Lots of mixed messages as to where the Reactor 4 caused the explosion or was the result of an explosion. As to whether Reactor 2 ever saw an explosion or whether in fact it was Reactor 4 that exploded and damaged the house around Reactor 2. The piece will be worded to indicate the current info. The crisis of the quake hit the Fukushima No. 1 nuclear plant reached a critical phase on Tuesday, with radiation feared to have leaked after apparent hydro explosion. So both the company that runs the plant and the nuclear safety body overseeing the disaster are calling it a meltdown. Do we have a translation issue at work? We need to find another source on this. They have essentially what the rest of the OS has been reporting, which is that some form of partial meltdown has happened. The Nuclear Safety Agency said that Tokyo Electric Power, which operates the nuclear plant, had succeeded in relieving pressure, but confirmed that some of the nuclear fuel had melted and that further depressurizing was necessary to continue to contain the reactor heat and pressure. This is not the first time that NISA and the cabinet have disagreed. We have a contest between the bureaucracies. The facts are that the fuel was exposed to air for an unknown period of time. It was generating uncontrolled fissile activity and throwing off lots of heat and pressure, and radioactive material was leaking out somehow. All this is indicative of imminent meltdown, of at least a partial of the fuel, material. And that's what we said in many of the initial pieces. I think we were fine until we said that the explosion meant there was a meltdown. Explosion at the facility does not directly indicate anything about the fissile material. Another error may have been asserting that cooling problems meant that automatic shutdown systems had a problem. As indicated by several readers and sources, the automatic shutdown went fine. The power supply to the cooling system failed and thus was unable to control the heat created by the radioactivity. There's the Strat 4 Japanese reactor container breach. Okay, thanks. I will do. George Friedman wrote, I understand what I'm saying is that we are likely to get things wrong as right on technology. We just don't know enough. 
We do know geopolitics and politics in this situation has now moved there. Yesterday we were searching for how bad this would become. Chernobyl or not? It was my mistake not to halt the technical analysis earlier, but certainly by today there was nothing we had to add to this. So as long as it's not Chernobyl, its shape is clear. You guys did a great job. I didn't manage it right, but we did well anyway. Now let's get back to our sweet spot. I hear him follow his guidance. Might just state that this is a response to an article we wrote Saturday morning, and this time is writing the best insight we had. You see how Mr. Freeman's trying to walk this back? Not as bad as Chernobyl, when we know it's a hundred times at least as bad. <laughs> we know at least it's a hundred times worse than Chernobyl. Japan. Fukushima reactor cover blows up. Actually, they are the ones that said meltdown yesterday too, and they were right. On 312. Same one, but note that they conceded that the reactor went into meltdown. So we have an easy comeback to those who said otherwise. The rep needs to reflect that. Is this yesterday's explosion or a new one? 312. 1pm. Marco Primarac wrote, Fukushima reactor cover blows up. Japan Times. Radiation spews amid frantic effort to prevent meltdown. Compiled from Kyoto AP. Sendai. An explosion at a nuclear power station blew up the building housing a reactor Saturday, injuring four workers as officials scrambled to prevent a meltdown. The blast followed the failure of the power plant company. Japan. Fukushima reactor cover blows up. WTF. Is this yesterday's explosion or a new one? The blast followed the failure of the power plant's cooling system at the time of the blast at 3.36 p.m. The situation in Japan remains dire after the 9.0 magnitude Toyohoko earthquake on March 11. Prime Minister Nanoto Khan had declared the disaster the worst since World War II, and he called for national unity to survive the crisis. Build a new Japan. Khan has also raised the size of the Japanese self defense forces. Responses to the 100,000 troops equal to about 40% of the active force. Rolling blackouts will be instituted on Monday in order to ensure electrical supplies, which means that much of northern Japan, including Tokyo, will accept daily three hour shifts of power shortage. A large number of in industries, including car and auto part plants, semiconductor fabricators, and steel mills, have stopped production for unspecified time frames. Disaster relief and humanitarian assistance is underway, with the United States, South Korea, China, and international organizations sending assistance teams and advisors. There may be even more coming in. G3 Japan, U.S. rushes fresh water to help Japan nuclear plant. Not repping, but apparently barges from the U.S. 7th Fleet, loaded with 500,000 gallons of fresh water supplies, were dispatched to the Fukushima plant because the seawater they were using Previously is clogging and corroding the pipes. Joy. Yeah, corroding the pipes. You know what that means, right? What's going to be going out those corroded pipes? It's not a closed system now. It's an open system. Into the ocean. U.S. naval barges loaded with fresh water, sped towards Japan over here nuclear plant on Saturday to help workers struggling to steam a worrying rise in radioactivity and remove dangerously contaminated water from the facility. Workers at the stricken Fukushima Daiichi plant have been using seawater in a frantic bid to stabilize reactors overheating since a tsunami knocked out the complex crucial cooling system on March 11. But fears are mounting about the corrosive nature of the salt in the reactor. 3.13.11 for fast comment Japan update. The situation in Japan remains dire after the 9.0 magnitude Tohoku earthquake. Japan nuclear reactors in serious status. This is a good short summation to sort of explain the deal of the various reactors at the two plants for incoming WOs. Nuclear reactors in serious status. 
work of cooling nuclear reactors and facing difficulties at two power plants. We're talking about Fukushima Daiichi and Fukushima Daini, which is about seven clicks south of Fukushima Daiichi. In the quake hit Fukushima Prefecture in northeastern Japan. At the Fukushima number one power plant, both the number one reactor and the number two reactor's emergency generators broke down, making it difficult to pump water into the reactors. That allowed the temperatures in the reactors to rise. Pressure inside the container vessel of the reactors also remains higher than normal. The Tokyo Electric Power Company, the plant's operator, tried to restore depressurizing equipment using a mobile generator, but the plan failed as the equipment had already been damaged by tsunami waves at the number two plant cooling water temperatures. Analytical, analytical intelligence comments. Japanese nuclear plant damaged in an earthquake. Mr. Viber, we definitely appreciate your insight into the reactor design. Unfortunately, with the explosion, we've been somewhat overtaken by events on this topic. I would greatly appreciate any other insights you have on the current situation particularly as regards your opinion as to the status of containment. We have what we think are reliable reports that there is cesium contamination in the area. What other friends of Stratford tell us is indicative of a full breach. Full breach. Not a partial breach. We love your thoughts. Japan update, please process this quickly. Don't forget to add the two maps. The situation in Japan remains dire. Japan, EU, Food, Econ, European Union to require radiation checks on food from Shizuka. European Union to require radiation checks on food from Shizuka. Japan today, July 5th, Brussels. The European Union has decided to require that food and farm items produced in Japan's Shizuoka Prefecture be inspected for radioactive contamination before being imported to the region in wake of the radiation leaks from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The bloc's executive body said Monday the decision came after the recent discovery in Shizuoka of radioactive substances above the legal limit in tea leaves and in France of radioactive cesium at more than double the EU limit in the Shizuoka produced green tea leaves. Japan Energy Food Radioactive Beef Sold in Tokyo Japan's second biggest retailer has sold nuclear contaminated beef in the capital Tokyo market and suburb area, raising great concern among the people. A Young Co. said it has sold beef from 132 cattle that ate nuclear contaminated feed a store in Tokyo and more than a dozen stores in surrounding areas. Cattle from Fukushima Prefecture were given a rice straw contaminated with high levels of radioactive cesium. Aeon said, the contaminated beef have been shipped to 36 of the 47 prefectures across Japan and consumed in 31 including Tokyo, NHK reported. This is the latest health scare linked to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant crippled by a March earthquake and tsunami. Cases of contaminated vegetables, tea, milk, seafood and water have already stoked anxiety in Japan. Government to ban shipment of Miyagi beef cattle. Thursday, July 28, 2011. Japan's government has decided to suspend all shipments of beef cattle from Miyagi Prefecture due to fears of radioactive contamination and plans to give the order as early as Thursday. Miyagi Prefecture shipped 1,031 heads of beef cattle believed to have been fed rice straw contaminated with radioactive cesium. A malaxine the government said permissional level had been detected and beef from six of the cattle. Qualities as high as 1,150 becquerels per kilogram. This is more than twice the safety level. The government's task force on the nuclear disaster 
says it can tag be from the cow from various parts of the prefecture rather than from a limited area. Miyagi will become the second prefecture to have all beef cow shipments banned. Japan government to pay for beef tests by prefectures. Government to pay for beef tests by prefectures. Japan's government says it will show the cost to municipalities of testing beef for possible radioactive contamination. Many prefectures have decided to voluntarily check all beef produced in their region after radioactive cesium exceeding government standards was detected in a rice straw used to feed cattle. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio Idano told reporters on Thursday that the government may subsidize the cost because it prioritizes the safety of beef. They just want to control the test. Japan Energy, UN leader to visit Fukushima nuclear zone. UN leader to visit Fukushima nuclear zone. August 5th of 2011, Japan Today. UN leader, Ban Kai Mu, sets out Saturday on a trip to Japan, where he will become one of the most senior foreign leaders to enter the Fukushima nuclear disaster zone. The tour, which will also take him to his native South Korea, is intended as a tribute to Japan after a magnitude 9.0 earthquake and tsunami on March 11 triggered the world's worst nuclear disaster. On Monday, Ban will visit Haragami Beach at Somo, about 40 kilometers north of Fukushima Daiichi plant, that continues to gush radiation five months on. The 20 kilometer no-go zone surrounds the nuclear plant. The struggle has gripped the world. Ban told Japanese reporters ahead of his visit, I wanted to come to Japan. Here's a tweet. To Stratford, reports of iodine and cesium outside. Fukushima suggests reactor containment structure breach. We had them talking about a full breach. Report explosion at Japanese nuclear plant by CNN wire staff. The explosion has been reported at a nuclear plant in North Japan, Fukushima Prefecture. Japanese public broadcaster NHK said Saturday, citing the country's nuclear industrial safety agency, it was not immediately clear where the blast occurred at the Fukushima Daiichi plant or what caused it. NHK said the injured workers were in the process of pouring a nuclear reactor at the plant by injecting water into its core. Earlier Saturday, Japan's nuclear agency said workers were continuing effort to kill fuel rods after a small amount of radioactive material escaped into the air. Coolant problems suggests a problem with the facility's automatic shutdown systems. Normally, control rods would simply slam into place and make the reactor inert. Emergency batteries and coolant are being continuously flown into the plant to prevent any degradation of the situation. The facts are that the fuel was exposed to air for an unknown period of time. It was generating uncontrolled fissile activity and throwing off lots of heat and pressure and a radioactive material was leaking out, somehow. All this is indicative of imminent meltdown of at least a part of the fuel material. And that's what we said in many of the initial pieces. March 12th, Bloomberg. Thousands fled as workers vented radioactive gas from a nuclear plant damaged by Japan's strongest earthquake on record, which triggered a tsunami that swept over the northern coastline, killing at least 500 people. Japanese officials took the extraordinary step on Saturday 
of flooding a crippled nuclear reactor with seawater in a last-ditch effort to avoid a nuclear meltdown. As the nation grappled simultaneously with its worst nuclear mishap in the aftermath of its largest recorded earthquake. This is how they spin it, okay? Because when they put the seawater inside where the reactor core is, it's still melting down. They chose rather to have an aerial release, to have more of an aerial release, to have more of a water release. Now, aerial release is pretty bad, but a water release is just as bad. Might be just a slower death, I guess, for the planet. Japanese reactor container breached. I hear and I'll follow this guidance. Might just state that this is a response to an article we wrote early Saturday morning. At the time of this writing, it was the best insight we had, saying what was indicated. Our latest two reports do not make this mistake. 313-2011. Folks, it's time for us to avoid all technical issues. We may be right, and we may be wrong, but we don't know enough to know which is which. No criticism, but it's not our field. I have read this letter and I have no idea if he is right or not, but we have received enough to pull back in. As an intelligence company, our job is to pull in intelligence and for that we need an expert. It is time to leave the details of the reactors. We know they have lost a bunch of reactors. Let's try to understand what this means for Japan and for the global system. Let's not try to figure it out for ourselves. Selenium detected in nuclear material. My understanding is that all these radioactive isotopes of cesium, iodine, selenium, that they're finding, that they're finding are the results of uncontrolled fission in the core. When the nuclear, when the coolant system malfunctions, this was allowed to happen. Nuclear explosions are uncontrolled fissile events. Hence, some of the same stuff gets produced. What else would account for the selenium? Routine process? It's suggesting that someone nuked the facility. I think considering that we have the footage of explosion, we know that's not the case. What would that mean? Japanese reactor container breach, folks. Let's not try to figure out what's going on inside the reactor anymore. Either way, the reactors are toast. We aren't experts in this field, so let's end the play-by-play -play on the reactor and move on to significance. Japanese reactor container breached. I understand what I'm saying is that we are likely to get things wrong when it's right on technology. Korean Central Television. Sing Myung Hook, Vice Director of the Central Meteorological Institute, Hydrometeorological Service, was interviewed by the KCTV reporter and discussed the flow of wind on the Korean peninsula from southeast to northwest. Video still shows a computer generated diagram describing the flow of the wind from Japan to the Korean peninsula. Sim stressed that the southern part of the peninsula has been especially affected by the wind, possibly carrying radioactive material from 6 to 7 of April citing the level of iodine and cesium reported on Shizhou Island. BBC Miring Alert, Japan. Radioactive strontium detected in soil around Kuwait, Japan Prefecture. Text of Untributed Report Headline Survey, Strontium Widespread in Fukushima. Published by Japanese NHK World website on the 8th of June. 
soil samples from around Fukushima Prefecture have revealed concentrations of radioactive strontium. Japan's Science Ministry conducted a survey for radioactive substances at 11 locations in 10 municipalities from late March to mid-May. It says strontium-90 was detected in all 11 locations. The water is rising at a rate that means it will overflow as early as June. Radioactive water may overflow at Fukushima. TEPCO has pumped millions of liters of pouring water to the three reactors and melted down. By May 18, almost 100,000 tons of radioactive water had leaked into the basements of the reactor and turbine buildings, connecting tunnels and service trenches at the plant, according to TEPCO's estimates. When the Tokyo Grain Exchange, the operator of Japan's largest agricultural, bet its future on rice trading, it didn't expect radiation fall would be part of the investor decisions and volatility. The exchange will list rice contracts today for the first time since the start of World War II to boost flaying volumes and profit. The resumption comes amid concern that fallout from the stricken Fukushima Daiichi power plant may spread to crops after it was found cattle had been fed cesium tainted rice straw. The nuclear disaster as the factors that could influence prices, said Takaki Shigemoto, a commodity analyst. Australian Tech Energy Nanotech, my intelligent absorbent, removes radioactive material from water. Professor Hoi Young Zhu from the QUT Chemistry Titanate Nanofiber that can remove radioactive material from contaminated water. Nuclear power plants are located close to sources of water, which is used as a coolant to handle the waste heat discharged by the plants. This means that water contaminated with radioactive material is often one of the problems to arise after nuclear disaster. Researchers at Australia's Queensland University of Technology have now developed what they say is the world's first intelligent absorbent that is capable of removing radioactive material from large amounts of contaminated water resulting in clean water and concentrated waste that can be stored more efficiently. Get it going, Mac. Don't think it's working too hard, Mac. Sounds like it's all talk, Mac. Japan Nuclear Security Japan sizes up task of Fukushima waste disposal. Wow, sounds like a lot of fun. Japan sizes up task of Fukushima waste disposal. Reuters, Japan faces a prospect of removing and disposing of 29 million cubic meters of soil contaminated by the world's worst nuclear crisis. The Environmental Ministry said the first official estimate of the scope and size of the cleanup. Six months after the March 11th earthquake and tsunami triggered the reactor meltdowns, Explosions of radiation leaks at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant on Japan's northeast coast. The size of the task of cleaning up is now only becoming more clear. Contaminated zones where radioactive levels need to be brought down could top 2,400 square kilometers, 930 square miles, sprawling over Fukushima and four nearby prefectures. 
Japan Health Minister. The foot is safe. Missed this when it came out. It's slow as hell, so why not send it? Japan Health Minister, food is safe. After a summer of food scares, despite concern about staples including rice, Japan's new health minister says consumers can feel safe about the food that they eat, noting the country is ramping up its capacity to test for radioactive contamination. I think people can feel secure about what's out there on the market, Yoko Komiyoma said in an interview with Dow Jones, Newswire Tuesday. And if the government is making sure that the likes of the Contagion Beef Scare earlier this year will never happen again. Last month, the Japanese government effectively lifted its ban on shipments of beef from all parts of the country where cattle that were found. So even Fukushima, you can get Fukushima beef. And you won't believe it, guys. It's a very popular, expensive ice cream that you could buy at your store. It was a very expensive brand of ice cream. The most expensive one out there. So that's a good hint. And they use the dairy cows in northern Japan. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're still using those same cows. Because it's just the way they operate. It's cheap. Dow Jones, alarmed by recent discoveries of radioactive hotspots in Tokyo and other areas far away from the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Japan will soon issue guidelines to help its citizens and local officials detect contaminated areas and clean them safely. From now on, we must offer equipment and ask people to look well beyond Fukushima to find hotspots, Mashiari Nakigawa, the Minister of Education and Science said in an interview with the Wall Street Journal on Tuesday, noting that it is yet to be discovered how widely such spots have spread. Nagigawa said the decision to offer such assistance was made after radiation was found widespread. Japan, FCD, and ready to go. Looks good. Changes in bold, ready to go. Japan's impending problem after the earthquake. Now, I guess what they're trying to say was Japan was fucked. Teaser. The situation remains dire in Japan. Mm -hmm.